welcome back to my channel. I am going to do a bit of a vlog today. It's Monday the 11th of July I think and just on a workout. You can tell by my face I'm a little bit hot. The weather is crazy in the UK right now. Where I live is generally the hottest part of the UK and in the shade my weather station says it's currently 24 degrees in the sun it is way hotter. I'm a little bit concerned about the temperatures this week actually because the forecast where we live is, um, they're saying that it might reach 40, um, which yeah, I'm not sure, but anyway, so today, like I said, is Monday. I don't work Mondays and for the last few weeks, my non-work Mondays have been taken up with preparing for going away and it's just been, a bit out of sync and so today is like a normal Monday where I can pick and choose a little bit about what I do. So I have got a Tesco click and collect booked between 10 and 11. It's 9.40 now so I've got a bit of time and I want to pop to Aldi as well. I really want to get some of their protein yogurts and I also want to just pick up a couple of bits I forgot to add to my Tesco shop, like some squash and some bacon. Actually, I deliberately left off the bacon because the Aldi bacon is so much better. So I want to pop there as well. So yeah, I'm just going to drink my coffee. I've made a Tassimo Americano and I've popped some whole milk in there. I'm really enjoying having whole milk instead of the semi-skimmed. Um, I do choose semi-skimmed if I'm going to have like a few extra drinks throughout the day because obviously you can only have 200 mils and it doesn't go that far but it goes far enough um, so I'm really enjoying that. In terms of Slimming World if you are new here um, I am a member of Slimming World and I have been on the plan for 18 weeks and I've lost two stone 12 and a half pounds or 40 and a half pounds. And I'm really hoping to get my three stone award this week, which would take me to 42 pounds loss. Um, it's just because I've been away and stuff like that, I um, have been having a much sort of slower weight loss, but I'm really pleased that I've been having a weight loss because I did think that I might like gain or maintain here and there. And so far, so good. So, um, yeah, I want to um, try and get that. So in terms of Slimming World, I have been doing things a little bit differently. So I have been trying to cut down on the carbs. So the pasta, the potatoes, I've been having either swaps completely or just very small amounts of it. Um, and I've been trying to increase a little bit of protein. I've been trying where possible to cut out the evening snacks, but I would say that I haven't been doing that as regularly as I'd like. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit and drink my coffee and then I need to get changed again for um, popping out to the shops. So it's quarter past 12. I haven't stopped at the shops this morning, so I am ready for something to eat. I haven't eaten anything yet today. So I'm gonna have a bacon and vegetable omelette. So I'm going to use three medium eggs because I'm extra hungry. I'm going to use four slices of bacon medallions. So the eggs are free. The bacon medallions are free as long as I just get off any extra little bits of visible fat. Then I'm going to saute off some red onion, some yellow pepper, some baby spinach, and I'll season the veggies with some chili flakes and some soy sauce and just pop that all inside the omelette so I'm gonna get on with that now and here is brunch all finished so I've got my omelette and it's full to the brim with yellow pepper red onion spinach which I seasoned with some chili and smoked paprika seasoning just a little sprinkle so I'm not sending that and some light soy sauce and then I've popped the bacon medallions inside and I'm also gonna have a cold Pepsi cherry no cherry Pepsi max from the fridge so that is my brunch today so i've had lunch and i have just popped out in the garden to do some deadheading on my flowers and i am absolutely melting hot so i've got a water bottle i've put some apple and blackcurrant and added sugar squash in there with some reusable ice cubes then i've got a few cherries that are left from this box that i bought last week um from sainsbury's i think and a nectarine that i got in my tesco haul today so i'm just going to sit down and uh, try and cool down. 
So I've not really picked up the camera today, have I? I said I was going to vlog and then I've essentially not really done anything. So basically it is now two o'clock. I don't know where the time has gone. I'm on my third outfit change of the day. I tend to start off with heavier clothes and I have my workout clothes and then I just like essentially strip off and not wearing much by the end of the day because it is absolutely sweltering hot. But anyway, um, yeah, it's two o'clock now. I need to edit my grocery haul that I filmed this morning to get that up tonight. And I have an hour until I need to leave for the school run. Just catching up on a bit of YouTube as well. Just catching up on the lovely Jo from Joanne's Swimming World Journey. Um, just catching up on her videos. And yeah, so I'm just essentially gonna sit here now, probably for the next hour, um, editing my videos. And then I need to head out on the school run. It is literally going to be so hot. Um, I'm dreading it, but you know, needs must and all that. The kids have to come home. So <laughs> yeah, I am just going to sit here and do that and I'll catch up with you a bit later. So that is one school run done. I have my five-year-old home and then I need to go back and get my seven-year-old when he finishes football. Um, yeah, I'm going to start making dinner now. I'm going to do jacket potatoes. I want to have a really big salad with it. Um, I want some fat with it as well. I haven't got any avocado, so I think I'm going to have some oil. So I will show you what dinner looks like when it's done. My cat here, she wants her dinner. She's yelling at me. Um, so yeah, I uh, will show you dinner when it's done. And then I'll catch up with you again after dinner. And so this is dinner. I have got a jacket potato. In the potato, I've spread some of this dynamite chili marmite. This is really good. I got that from B&M. Then I've put some taco mixed beans in spicy tomato sauce on top, which are from Tesco. They are sin free. And then I've added 30 grams of medium cheddar. For, that's my healthy extra A choice. A big salad of lettuce, pepper, red onion, cucumber, tomatoes, picante peppers, and some of those pickles in chili that I get from Tesco's. Then I've popped some of this balsamic vinegar on top and then a teaspoon of this extra virgin olive oil, a level teaspoon, and that is two sins. So time has pushed on a bit now. It's 25 past seven. I have just been editing this vlog and I was really laughing because I actually talk about the weather more than anything in this vlog. It's just really funny. I'm sorry about that. Um, to be honest, I absolutely hate summer. I think that's largely because of my weight, because it's just hard work. My face is just always melting and um, that's why uh, this morning when I did my makeup, I literally just do a tiny splash of eyeshadow, a little bit of mascara and just a little bit of eyebrow gel. Um, you probably can tell, but my eyebrows are totally different shapes. Um, and that's always been the case. So normally I will like draw them on a little bit, but because of the heat, there's no point. They will just melt off. So yeah, just a light makeup. And I generally just hate this time of year. So you will hear me moaning about the hot weather um, a lot, <laughs> but it's actually a lot cooler now. It's 23 degrees and it's just a really nice temperature. I'm happy with the current situation the sun has gone over the house and yeah so um just gonna chill out for a bit my husband is putting the boys to bed i've just done my five-year-old's reading book and his spellings with him and then my husband did reading with my oldest my oldest has book brought home so they basically um he's in year two and they get their reading books changed every well they get their reading books changed when they've finished reading their book so my son, he was always quite behind with his reading, um, possibly due to COVID. Um, so he wasn't on the level, anywhere near the level he should have been when he went back to school in year one. Um, and so now he's in year two. He's really caught up now and um, he loves that he's caught up. So he wants to read his whole book every day. But because of the level that he's on, um, the books are massive. So he's getting like most of the time they're 32 pages each so he's doing like one of those every night and it's a bit tiring to be honest but tonight the book he's brought home is 48 pages luckily my husband was doing his reading <laughs> so i'm on alfie he's in reception he's on like level three um so his book's like 16 pages long which is a lot actually for his age he's only just turned five but um he did that all right um but then harry's being much higher level 
It's 48 pages. That's crazy. And I was like, you should just break that up into like two days. No, I want to get a new book tomorrow. So bless him. Good on him, I say. But yeah, it's quite tiring um, to fit it all in before they go to bed. But anyway, my husband is just finishing their bedtime and I get a little bit of time out. This is really cool because um, for the last couple of weeks, I haven't like on the nights where I've not done bedtime, I've had something on like I've either been at work, I've been at Slimming World, I've been packing. Um, just there's always been jobs to do but tonight there are there are obviously loads of jobs there's loads of housework houses upside down but I don't have anywhere I have to be so I am just gonna sit and chill because I've been complaining for a while at home that I've not had any chill time so when I get the opportunity I don't just want to do jobs and not use the time to chill so I think I'm going to put a bit of um YouTube on um and I really fancy an ice lolly, so I think I might go and get an ice lolly. Um, we have got quite a selection in the freezer. I really wanted to just stock up because some holidays start next week, and um, so the kids will be home all the time. There's a heat wave coming. They will have their friends over in the summer, so I just really wanted to make sure I had a stock. Um, I'm not sure I've got enough to see me through the whole six and a half weeks that they're off school, but we've got a good start. So yeah, I've got quite a selection. Um, a few that are semi well friendly, so I don't really know. I don't like it when I've got choice. So I need to go and um, choose an ice lolly. I think quite fancy a fruit stack. You get a lot of lolly for your sins with those. So I might go and get one of those. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a little chill. See what happens tonight. Hope you've had a good day. If you have kids at school, when do they break up? Are they all off for six and a half weeks in the UK? I think it's fairly standard. My children don't break up until the middle of next week. Um, so we've still got the whole of this week, and then couple of days but yeah I'd be interested to know like how long are your kids off for when do they break up yeah so anyway I will catch up with you in a bit so I have my fruit stack lolly they are a good size if you sort of compare them to my head <laughs> they are 55 calories or three sins on swimming world so yeah I'm just gonna go and enjoy this and watch a bit of telly so that is the end of my day it's 20 past nine and um, I'm retiring to bed I'm just in the middle of doing my skincare and I think I'm just going to have a little chill and I'm going to have a look through the Simming World magazine that I picked up from group last week because it says on the front here there's 119 recipes and food ideas and I feel like there must be some meal inspiration that I could use and make it work for the family because I would eat lots of different recipes, um, but my children make it just a nightmare trying new things. And I end up having to make like, you know, different meals for everyone and it gets really complicated. So I just tend to stick to what I know, but I'm determined to bring in some variety, especially over the summer holidays. Um, I've been thinking about the summer holidays a lot tonight, actually, because it's literally like just over a week away. And I really don't want to just like derail myself so last summer holidays I was like um you know getting glasses of wine in the evenings and the kids weren't going to bed till like nine o'clock and you know it was just a bit too relaxed and I could do a lot of damage in six and a half weeks to my weight so yeah I'm just going to try and mix things up a little bit um but yeah in terms of today it's been a really kind of just like slow day it's been ages since I've had one of these and probably wasn't the best day to vlog in all honesty but I just thought it would be nice and I could catch up and just I don't know take it easy so that's what I've done um I don't know what my content's going to look like over the next few weeks with the school holidays I think there'll be a lot more of like what I eat and things like that because um I'll be trying to keep myself on track and in terms of shopping hauls they might look a bit different I might be doing them um smaller ones throughout the week and just I'm not sure but yeah I'm gonna go to Asda because I actually work right by Asda but I don't get time when I finish work to go and have a look um but when the kids are off my husband um will have days where he's with them so then I get a bit of time after work and I'm gonna go to Asda and have a look around and Morrison's because they're both near my office and just see if I can um, try some different things. So that will be fun. Keep your eyes peeled for those hauls. But for now, thank you so, so much as always for watching. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.